Hello everyone, Rip Hannah Breaks here back again for another video, and today I will be reviewing set number 71732, Epic Battle Set, J vs. Serpentine, with 69 pieces going for $9.99 USD. And I actually just got this set today from the LEGO store. So, let's open it up. Gotta get this precise as to open it, but not ruin the box. Or your fingers. And there we go. Now that it is open, I can pour out the contents. And one last bag. Okay, now that that's done, we don't need the box. And we have this. Okay. There's the instructions, and let's get to building. Now before we get on to building this set, I have another epic battle set, which is Cole vs. a Ghost, and check out my video on that set. Also, we have this Kids Go Free ticket. Got one of these coupons at the LEGO store too, but I don't live in California, Florida, or New York, so... And the Discovery Center, well, there's a lot of places there, but besides, I won't be going to Legoland anytime soon. On to building the set. There we go, there's the first bag, and I have to be careful as to not let anything spill and fall into here. Because this desk is also where my computer is, and I'd rather not lose any pieces and all the wires behind there. I also have to make sure I get everything in the frame. Okay, here we go. Found a better way to frame this. Oh, you can see my little ghost up here. I'm gonna move that out of the way. And now you can see this. Okay, you can still see barely out of the corner. You can see some Lego. But that doesn't matter. As long as this Lego fits in frame, it should be good. I'm gonna pour this stuff over here. And of course, we got the classic two half mask, like, any of the sets with these pieces, there's always two of them. I'm gonna try to get most of it in the time lapse, but for these first two figures, I'm just going to build them without a time lapse. Okay, here's Jay. And if you hear a squeaking, that's just my chair. It's a very squeaky chair. Yeah, we, oh no, almost lost a piece there. I was ready to list my thoughts on Jay, but I realized I should probably save that for the review part of this. Ah oh, yes, the classic J head. No, nah, I just lost some pieces, and that one's on the edge. And yeah, oh wait, I just realized I put his body out of frame. Here's this head, and I really, really want to move that piece right now. I'm falling. Come on, let me. Okay, here's this piece again. I'm gonna put this right here. Don't want any pieces falling off. And here's Jay's hair. Don't want to build it out of frame. And we got his little dragon weapon holding piece there, along with this bag, which for some reason comes with like all of these pieces, even though really you only need the nunchuck one, but I'm not complaining. Okay, this is going to have to be out of frame. Go grab one of the nunchuck pieces. And, yep. And there's Jay. Let's get one of these pieces for him. Jay's finished. Next, on to the Serpentine figure, which I'm not sure if he actually has a name. Nope, he does not. He is simply listed as Serpentine. Okay, then. Here we go. We have this. I feel like I should be saying something, but I don't know what to say, because I'm just building a minifigure. 
I do like this hair piece. Yeah, I don't have very many. I don't have any serpentine figures other than this one, because it's not like I'm always buying every Lego set. So whenever I get to choose one, I have to choose wisely. And also, I wasn't a Ninjago fan when they were having the serpentine waves of sets all the way back in like 2012. But why won't? Why is this so difficult? I'm trying to put it in his hand. There we go. And that's the Serpentine dude. And before we build the set, we have this little spinner piece to build. And one thing I've always hated about these instructions are how they fold. You have to like bend them the other way as to fix them so they don't fold in while you're trying to use them. It's always so annoying. Here we go, we put Here we go, we put these two pieces together. That is right, yep, I'm doing this right. And we have this piece, which I think this was a genius idea. It first started with this early 2021 wave, and we had this one for one the bigger sets which is actually my first video, go check that out if you want to. But for these epic battle sets, since they're much smaller scale, the little spinner things are much smaller. There we go. Put this piece on. I think I did this right. Yep, I did this right. Okay. There we go, and that's the spinner piece complete. As the instructions show, you can just go like that, and it'll spin whatever minifigures on it. Now, onto the build. And that is the build complete. It took about like five minutes to build, and it's just like the instructions show. Well, maybe not just like it's rearranged a little bit differently. But yeah, there's also a few extra pieces as usual. There is this piece. There is the half mask piece, as I said. There is this golden stud. This golden tooth piece. This technic pin, and this tooth slash claw piece along with as I said all of these extra weapon pieces yeah on to the review starting out with the main fears we have the serpentine which yeah he has this little tooth sword but it's pretty cool I guess he has the little straps which shows that he's very different from any serpentine we've seen in the show because it's a legacy serpentine. Now obviously it's the Hypnobri, but you can see because like it's blue obviously and those eyes, those are the mind controlling eyes. It's got some sharp teeth there and a little tongue. And with the head as I've said there's those mind controlling eyes along with a little bit of printing on the back. Now this is a great figure and all. It's got like little knee armor there, great printing and everything. My one problem is this piece here. It's a great piece, however, there's like no printing. Okay, I'm trying to get this minifigure back on the stand as I'm ranting about this headpiece. Yeah, great piece, but it feels off not having any printing on it. Anyways, I don't really have much else to say about him. On to the next figure. Next, we have a really great figure. This J figure, which I think is one of the best ones we've gotten. Now, of course, there's this piece here. It says Nunchucks to Lightning, but in the style that they've been using for these epic battle sets. 
like for example, here's Cole's Scythe of Quakes, but yeah, but pretty much what the style is, they have this dragon piece right here, and then they also have this piece right here, which is the, I guess, elemental part of it. But yeah, other than that, I really like the design for the robes. I've got a little rope there. It almost reminds me of like an ancient Egyptian style. Kind of like how this Cole figure here reminds me of like a mummy. And they've got similar bandages on their knees. And yeah, it's really cool. There's a little writing there, but I'm not sure what that means. Again, the writing's right there too. I'm guessing it has something to do with him. And yeah, there's also, as usual, two faces. There's this face here, which is like an angry face, kind of. You know, you've seen it before with all the other J minifigures. And yeah, just classic J face. And I put the hair back on wrong. But also, he has this face, which, yeah. I mean, again, same face we've always gotten. Really, I think they need new faces for these minifigures because I just don't think it really fits them all that well. Maybe it fits, definitely fits him for like the movie, which is when these were made, but not for the show. And one final detail I like is that they're using blue gloves. Yeah, they're using the same color as the mask piece they're using for the minifigure hands. Like Cole here, which I really like because I'm tired of getting Ninjago minifigures who always have black hands. Like this. Like, I have so many of those pieces in my collection. If I ever need a hand in the color of black, it's there. I don't have very many orange ones or blue ones. But yeah, it's great. But anyways, on to the build. Starting out with the build, I really like the look of it. When I was at the Lady store deciding, it was between this or... The other, th the other two epic battle sets I don't have. That are the Miles Morales mech. But yeah, I ended up choosing this one because I really like the look of it. I was close to choosing the one with Kai, but I also really liked this J figure. And yeah, it's pretty cool. It's got little... Not exactly sure what these are, but some sort of plant. Like bamboo or something. But also the snake here, which... Like, you can, you can put it up and down, but really it's supposed to just stay in one position. And because of this red piece, it's almost like it has eyes. And yeah, there's some more Reeves here. Next, onto the play features of this set. Now, f putting this aside, there's really not too much play features for this thing. I guess you could count this as a play feature, but really I don't think it's supposed to be one. And one thing I don't get is, like... Why didn't they have, like, a serpentine staff or something to put here? Because they clearly have a little, like, piece there, which looks just like the old sets were used to put a serpentine staff there. Instead, there's nothing that came in the set to put there. I guess you could put something like this there, but I don't know why you would. Actually, I guess if you turned it correctly, you could make it look like it's spitting venom or something. But, yeah... It should have come with, like, a serpentine staff. Maybe that would have been a cool thing to give this figure. But anyways, as for this, I guess it's, like, if we had, like, one of the figures, maybe, like, how about the serpentine dude got knocked into it or knocks into it or something, and it just falls over. That's all there is to it. Not much other than you can make it fall over. I guess if you wanted to, you could put, like, a minifigure on here and then make him fall over and do it hard enough he could fall off and fly out of frame but yeah for the last thing here we have this spinner and yeah it spins like i've shown before in my other videos but yeah that's all there is to it i've been recording for 32 minutes now which really this video is not going to be that long that's just because i had to record myself building it which i'm gonna either speed up or cut out one of the two. Reshoots of things normally mess up. Those usually take up time. Because I have to, like, obviously do it again. But I ended up cutting it out during editing. But yeah, that's about it for this video. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoy. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.